Welcome to video 162 in series 3, and this video is about improving the NPC State melee attack script. Okay, so since the like the last two videos while I've been playing around with the uh, NPC, I'm not really satisfied with the melee attack script. So let me just show it to you, and you might not be either if you've been uh, trying it out. You'll find that it doesn't behave like how you would expect it. So here he is. Okay, he sees me, he attacks, fine. But if I just start running around in circles, hmm, he just loses me. And if I walk far enough, well, he just completely uh, forgets that I even was there. So if I walk too far, well, he suddenly doesn't realize I'm there anymore. Now that's really not very, that's not very good at all. That's uh, pretty lousy, actually. So the uh, changes to make are pretty simple. Uh, the system is very flexible, after all. So it's not a big drama. So go ahead and open up the NPC state melee attack script. All right, so inside of it, let's go through it and have a look. So it's in the look method. And uh, keep this one, so the two patrol state in this side of this block here. That's valid. That's good. But what the problem is, is here. So I'm casting this overlap sphere. It's got a very short range, of course, the melee attack range. And what I'm doing is I'm well, dropping the pursue target and putting it into the patrol state. And that's really not ideal, uh, because I have a detection count that causes the NPC to take some time to recognize its target. So instead of doing that, I should say to pursue state, not to patrol state, to pursue state. And again, over here. I shouldn't be saying that. I should instead say to pursue state. So the catch-all here is that, look, if it's not working and we can't uh, detect uh, an enemy, our target, while we are in the melee attack state, we should rather go to the pursue state and continue to pursue our target. Okay, and again down here uh, where I have this, uh, you know, if... Uh, in this else block over here, if time dot time greater than npc dot next attack or npc not npc dot is melee attacking blah blah whatever. Anyway, so in that case, this too should not be to patrol state. It should be to pursue state. Okay, so now I'll save that, and that's all it is. Very very simple. So if I jump back into Unity and then try that out. And then I just uh, wander around. Okay, he's going to see me. He's going to attack. And if I start running around him, trying to run circles, he's just going to go to the uh, pursue state. And that is what the kind of behavior that uh, I would expect. I'm sure that you expect as well. You don't expect him to just suddenly forget that he had a target. So very good. So now he'll continue to pursue uh, the target until you run far away enough such that he can no longer detect you. Once you do that, then he will go into the alert state. And yep, now he'll go and investigate the last known position which is very good. So that's it, our NPC is behaving like how it should behave in the first place. So yes, and there you can see that the NPC is uh, now pretty much in the uh, patrol state, which is excellent. And of course, if I come close again, he'll see, he'll go into the alert state, now he's in the pursue state, uh, and that's it. All right, so that's excellent, and we have a proper functioning enemy NPC who is behaving correctly when they are in the melee state. Excellent. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.